<laughs> wow, way better roll. Way better. Like, love it. I'm like, <laughs> ready? Okay. This is Haley, and this is Bailey, and you're listening to Text Me When You Land. <laughs> We're back for another fun We're back. podcast. I'm, I'm wearing the same thing. <laughs> I am too. It's been a whole five minutes. It's been a whole five minutes. What's new with you, Bailey? It's been a whole <laughs> week for our podcast listeners, though. <laughs> Anything exciting happening with you? I'm about to go get dinner, and I'm super excited. We went out on a boat today. That was fun. Ooh. What kind of boat? We had to pick just like a little boat. We just went out and... Did a little picnic and went swimming. Cute. Just was it like a little boat, like, like a, a little date. boat. No, like a little. I mean, what kind of boat was it? <laughs> a rib. It's like the inflatable sides. It's like a motorboat, but it's like more. I feel you're I'm not thinking of like this. an. This is more yeah, of no, like a kiting, no. sailing. I love how Evan's so serious thing. about it. He's like a rib. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <know>. Duh. <laughs> I take those every <laughs> time I I'm go. I'm gonna boating. show you a picture. <laughs> okay, well, this is not it. Oh, yeah, this is it. I thought it was a whale, but it's not a whale. That's like a crazy one going to this. Like, kind of like that, I guess. It looks like a fast boat. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. Like a little, yeah. just like a little boat. We just took it out, went and had a picnic, saw the Kalonks. I think that's how you say it. Um, went swimming. It's fun. That sounds like so much fun. It was the I've been day. so freaking i've been craving a pool a pool mm. that's not freezing like our pool here is so cold and it's like it's been 108 it's been so freaking warm wow that's so yeah hot. it's it's been so hot so but the pool is still cold because nothing's heated and i'm mm. like uh, you know what i've been I really can't... loving what Wait, sorry i keep going i interrupted you but i was thinking of like cold pool what about tanning I've been really liking tanning because you can't sit on your phone because it's like too bright, you know. Yeah. So yeah. I've just been putting my big headphones on, and just like you can have like nice little circles on your head. I know right here, and just <laughs> yeah, like laying little- and like, or like even today, like we were on the boat and I just like laid on the side and tanned. I feel like it's making me stop, like unplug, just lay there. Like, you can pick so up a book, you could journal, you can do something, yeah. but not on your phone. You can listen to music, yes. but yes. just be in the moment not that's so why does that sound like so mm. see go just in your backyard tomorrow that's what i was just about to say though before you said that i can't i can't that's what i was about to say though i was like i can't because we have construction going on so it's kicking up all this dust and it's so muddy in our backyard and then on top of that it's pushing all the bugs and you'll have you'll have a oh okay (laughs) That's a great idea, Bailey. <laughs> Go to the pool. But then it's, it's, it's pushing all the bugs in. And so we have all these black widows in our backyard. And I just can't keep up. And so I'm just like abandoning ship. I'm just like, whatever. Take over. Cool. cool. I know. I was thinking about going to the pool, but it's cold. No, but don't you have to go in the pool? That's not the point of this is to go but then I get and hot. Re- unplug. And well, then, then you put your feet in. Them. I'm finding a lot of excuses here. Yeah, this is right, why Haley right. needs me around. <laughs> I was telling Bryce, I'm like, we just need to find like a nice pool. Like, we're not gonna lie, we toured a country club the other day, and I was so excited about it. And then I saw the pool, and it looked just like the pool we have here. And I was like, that's so dumb. <laughs> like, no, I'm like, I had literally would have to drive 30 minutes to go to this pool that I when I have one basically in my backyard. And I think you need to go to this pool and put your headphones on and just right. yeah. unplug. I think you're right. And you probably. can put your little toesies in if you get hot. <laughs> or you just do a little okay. quick dive, like a whoop, and then you get out, and then you're dry off in the sun. You like I how every how time I say tan, I put my arms up. I'm like, Bailey is so tan. I love how that's the theme of this summer is tan. We talked about it three times now. <laughs> and I self tanned before, but now I haven't self tanned yet. I've been in tanning sun. For I had to change. Like- before we were started recording because I was wearing black and I looked goth because I'm so white but the the lighting is making me look more white and I was like no this is not a vibe I'm gonna put on something bright (laughs) and now I match my sweatshirt matches Bailey's skin (laughs) (laughs) so I'm red right now I am I I feel like I'm reflecting you actually right now I'm not gonna lie I I, I think you are a little bit you look a little peachy but it's like a cute peachy I think it looks great 
Thanks. Anyway, but we are talking about things that make life more enjoyable and how, like Bailey said, slowing down, reading a book and like, yeah, those are great things. Those are fun. But like, what is something that you have been doing more and making more intentional time? And like you said, putting your phone down. I love that one. That's been a huge thing for me I feel like recently and especially in Bali it was such a fun trip it was such a different trip like I wanted to capture everything and I feel like I did take a lot of videos and a lot of pictures but instead of like feeling like I had to do stuff with it or taking pictures of everything I was like okay that was fun and then I put my phone away and I think that was something that was huge for me to just like be in the moment and like obviously our work is social media and editing and that kind of stuff and I was just like when we would drive long distances, I would edit. But other than that, I was like, nope, my phone's down. I'm enjoying where we're at. Like, I don't need to do this right now. And I had the luxury to do that during that trip. But I feel like we're both probably not the best at unplugging from work, especially because of what our job is. And I think that's something I've been really trying to do more of. It's like at dinner, it's like put my phone down or, you know, just little things where it's like, or going and tanning. Like that sounds so silly, but it's like, you really can't do much on my phone, like overheats in two seconds. So it almost pushes you. And it's so bright. It's like, it it doesn't, you can't see your screen very well. Yeah. Yeah. No, I love that. And I think it's such an under underrated is that the right word it's an underrated or under talked about thing like it's it or it's talked about a lot but it's not done intentionally what i have a new one keep going i'll tell you after it's a good one it's different it's unique keep going okay tell me no it's random keep going i know i want to know you got me all confused now and i lost my thought process so tell me what you're thinking <laughs> sorry i this is a good one you said not like a typical one Something Evan and I have been doing at the beach at night is we've been looking for little sea glass. So we just sit there and we like, we'll like talk and like pick all our favorite pieces and like put them in like a little thing. We've been filling a glass. That's so cute. You know, it hurts See, it's yourself, like random, right? but like I feel like it's not reading or, you know, putting your phone down. It's something very No, different. but that makes life more you enjoyable. Like, Those little tiny things. I love that. Now we're like every night we've been filling a cup. And it's slowly getting higher from our nights at the beach. I have been trying to learn more about coffee. Oh, yeah. And that's a fun one. That was like when we were doing latte art. Yes. I'm like, well, that I haven't even touched that part yet. We're not doing that yet. We're just, <laughs> yeah, just no, no, learning no. Bailey, coffee. Baby steps. I just learned how to put creamer in. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like I'm trying to find different bases. Like people use almond milk or oat milk or whole milk and it was funny. You said that oat milk made you anxious, and that day I was having a hard day, but it was because I was having a hard day, and Bryce is like, it's the oat milk. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, no. But I haven't had coffee since that day, so I haven't been able to test it out. Oh, man. I know. I've been taking it a step back because I was having it so much because dairy, I'm lactose intolerant, and so, <laughs> which is really unfortunate when you really like What cream. about raw milk? Is I guess that's the same still milk. I didn't know if it's yeah. like process. Well, if it's like it's if it's her like organic grass fed like good stuff, I don't have as much of a reaction. But it's I just get a little bit of acne along my chin, and so I've been trying to let my body calm down from it for a little bit. And so I was gonna make it today, but I'm finding okay. First of all, coffee is a whole different vibe. Like, like it's just like there's so much to it. Like, I, I didn't like coffee before, which is why this is, like, I'm, like, just now coming into the world of it. But I'm learning, like, oh, well, no wonder I didn't like it. It was disgusting. I mean, Starbucks, yuck. <laughs> like, it was not prepared in the right ways. And I also learned that, like, the beans and the brewing and the grinds and the and then the bases and the ad that you can add Literally, stuff in Literally, just how you make it, too. Like, we go to a coffee shop that's our favorite, and the owner is the, like – her coffee when she makes it versus somebody else there makes it so different it's just it's so oh my gosh and, and i found that this is like a fun little hobby i'm having like it's like that's trying so different things and like i'm not gonna lie like i tried this weird cold brew thing i made at home and i was like that was disgusting <laughs> like I don't even, oh i tried oat milk with cold brew no i did not like that i did not like that but you it takes but, time to figure out i kept telling you that i was like you have to try different things yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I didn't want to start it off with like too much sugary stuff because I, that's what makes – what is that? Oh, French siren. <laughs> Last time we <laughs> podcasted and I was here, that happened. Oh, really? I feel like it did not remind me of it. I love their sirens. <laughs> They're so different than at home. Um, 
but also okay so another thing i've been doing i've realized this is kind of my our last topic we talked about i talked about how i went off my add medication anyway i've been really embracing my add like not like fighting it like i used to fight it so much and now i'm learning to like embrace who who i am and that's making my life so much easier we (laughs) sorry i keep interrupting you i'm not interrupting grind this podcast but we need to do another podcast on that topic because i feel like when we were talking about it i kept saying like my like in my house it was such a like supported like positive thing and i feel like that's what made me just like that's who i am we're like that's interesting for you to say like oh i'm like feeling like i'm just embracing it and i'm just like yeah that's who i am Mm-hmm. Well, I told my dad the other day that I'm like, I don't know if I'll ever go back on it. Like, which is, yeah. he's like, that's great. I'm like, I'll have it as like an as needed basis. But I realized that when I did that, when I first went off of it, I went off of it for a week. And then the next week, I was like, oh, I'm just going to take one today. And then the next day, I was like, oh, I'm just going to take it again. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to take it again. And I was like, ah, no, 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 no. I'm like, I can find it easier to get to start taking it once you start taking it again. And once it's out of your system, it took a lot longer than I thought it would. And so I feel so much more relief from it now that it's out. But anyways, yeah, we'll say that for another topic because I could talk about it forever. But um, it's allowed me to be able to, like, actually embrace these little hobbies that I have, even though being ADD, like, you're all over the map. Like, you just, like, have a bunch of different interests. And I think it's super fun. So I've been, like, doing things at home, doing little home projects. And then I've been, like, trying new, like, little, like, I don't know, drawings and stuff like that. I think it's just super fun to kind of embrace all the little hobbies I do it's so fun to embrace all those I feel like it's like finding what you like and doing it and taking the time to stop and do those and that's something I've even been trying to challenge myself I was like I really want to get a journal I was meant to pack one I didn't but this trip because I know I love that and I do enjoy doing it but I never give myself the time to slow down and just like unplug and sit and do that versus like unplugging and going on my phone and that's something I've really been wanting to change is my unplugging no longer being my phone it's reading a book or it's journaling or something like that because I think that really gives us time to enjoy a moment to soak up a moment to just be in that moment versus scrolling and looking at other things and for us it always at least for me it always turns into work and oh I should do that or oh why I should be editing that or something like that and I think those are things that we need to do more of is like taking the time to go on a walk if it's doing something like that or go on a run or journal or go for it like we've been doing we only got here on Wednesday it's Saturday but like every day we've been going for a swim in the ocean and that doesn't take a crazy amount of time it's like we go on a walk we get there we set up we hang out for like a little bit we go for a little swim but it's becoming part of our routine here and I'm like I love this because we're just stopping all the other things and we're doing this together and we're just like enjoying this moment like we need to bring this home we need to do this at home yes I love that like that sounds so fun and I was I was on my phone like a lot one day and I found myself kind of just like in the slump and feeling like what I was doing was not good enough and I realized that Bryce was like you need to like stop following these people because they're just making you realize like they're making you ungrateful for like this great life you have and I was like it's so true like it's so hard because I see it constantly like all these girls that you know live in like these cute little towns and I'm like I want a cute little town you're like Bryce like you do live in a cute little town (laughs) I'm like you're right I do (laughs) so I'm just like it's just a perspective but I just think it's like I don't think it's like our phones are such a default you wake up you grab your phone you check the weather on it you use it for time you use it for text messages and calling and social media emails I mean it's literally our lifelines and there's nothing wrong with them but I don't think we realize that back in like the 90s before we had phones I mean I was like only four years old so I mean but like early 2000s like kids don't necessarily know what it's like to not have these devices and I just want to I'm like I want to have an authentic experience of enjoying life without having to have a phone or you know it can can be like when little kids just like at dinner have coloring books and color yes like I I feel like that's something like even for me like I almost want to get a coloring book and just sit in color like we don't get I've been doing that do it do it on the beach it's so fun just just do stuff that's not our phones like take that time and don't feel guilty I think that's something I have to work on is like 
So like I yesterday I sat outside for like an hour and just tanned and listened to music. And at first I was like, I feel guilty. Like I should be doing other things. And then I was like, no, I need this. And I know I need this because we've been go, go, go. And like, yeah, we've been traveling. It's been amazing. But there's a lot of other things that have been going on too. And I was like, I just need this for like a moment to like be with myself and just hang out and not be sitting on my phone and not be doing all these other things. And I think that's something like if it's scrapbooking and or if it's coloring, doing a puzzle, going to the beach and going for a swim. There's so many things that I think we don't give ourselves enough time to do and that should be in every day. It doesn't have to be the same thing every day, but you should have an hour at least to yourself every day that's journaling or, you know, I'm going to, I'm naming different things to give ideas because there's endless things you can do. But really just taking the time for yourself because that's huge for you to be able to show up how you want to in those other situations for work, for friends, for significant others, for all of that. There are a lot of scuzzes in here today. (laughs) I love how there was no pause in between that. (laughs) It was just boom, right in the scuzz. I absolutely love that. I want to know, or we want to know, what is something you like to do that does not involve your phone or being on a screen? that you like to do in your downtime? What's a fun hobby you like to do or how to distract yourself and make life more enjoyable? 